know you're going to get their best shots. We continue now in the second period here on Friday night. James cuts it off there, gives to Biondi. Quick shot, save made by Griggles. Comes to Olsen, out of the point, Kelly. Long shot, Griggles makes that easy stop. He'll Holmquist with it now for UMD. Far side corner, tries to evade the check now of Colin Doyle. Gives to Biondi, he circles around to the near side. Back the other way, watched by Kalkis the entire way. Biondi with lots of speed, cuts to the high spot, the shot. Battle going on in front. That was deflected high and wide. Now Biondi has it again for UMD. He and Alex Clevin collided behind the goal. Some friends do a charging for to Svensson. Taken away by Matt Anderson. Biondi, nice play through neutral there. This is Olsen. Olsen with a bit of skill in the circle. Stops there. Delays, gives to the point. This is Anderson. Anderson works his way on the backhand behind the net. Cycles there. This is Dominic James. James, the centering pass in the skates of Olsen. He hit the post. And now gloving it down was Biondi back to Olsen. A sharp angle shot. Shoulder save made by Griggles. Biondi back to the point. Lelling. Gallatin, long shot, easy stick saved by Griggles. James in the corner. James to Biondi, cutting through the middle of that Alaska defense. Now Lele tipped in front, and that was wide off the stick of Olsen. This line turns in another good shift for the Bulldogs. That pass, though, by Olsen, knocked away and cleared off the U. He wins the race to the end wall. Gives back to Roth on the far side half boards. He controls, shoots it in behind. Loney fights for it along the end ball. Matsui played it up to the point. It's held. Long shot. That hit shin guards and deflects, but Loney controls now. There the blue line for UMD. Gives it to Kelly. Kelly works his way into the corner. He's canceled out there. Nice hit thrown by Diedrich Henbrandt. Now it comes back to the point. Gallatin gives to Kelly. Top of the near circle. Nice pass. That's Cates. The shot is gone. Bulldog Fan of the Week is brought to you by the Duluth Tap Exchange and Tap on the Tavern. And you guys, I got a goal. Blake Biondi makes it for the line. UMD, a goal again, right off the faceoff for the Bulldogs. Well, that's the exact same play, just on the other side of the ice. Blake Biondi lines up on his off wing, comes right behind the center, picks it up, throws it on net. That's a set play, just like the Kobe Roth goal. Now it just comes from the other side with a right-handed shot off the left wall. Face-off 101, young men and women at home watching, little hockey players at home watching. Biondi's sixth goal of the year. He makes it 4-1 Bulldogs here midway through the third period. And talk about a guy that makes the most of his opportunities, John. This whole line has been good. James Olsen Biondi, but Blake Biondi is the guy that last year was kind of a stuck in a roll position. Didn't get a lot of really important minutes as a freshman. He had just the five points. Boy, is he taking a step forward as a sophomore. Well, we talked about the maturity level of a guy that comes right out of junior hockey or plays a couple years of junior hockey after high school, just be, kind of becoming a man and just physically and mentally maturing with not only the, the on-ice stuff, but the off-ice, the lifestyle. And, you know, Blake Biondi is such a, a great young man, but he comes right out of high school. He's never been away from home, that type of thing. That take, that's hard. That's hard to deal with. And this is a man's league, college hockey, Division One, NCHC. That's it's a man's league. And he's he's just figured it out. He, he came and settled in. He worked extremely hard this offseason, and he comes in, and he's just doing what kind of everyone expected. But it, it, it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. He was the Minnesota Mr. Hockey Award winner in 2020 out of Herbentown. And Scott Sandlin actually before the game said he's a guy that some guys kind of go up and down. They ebb and flow throughout the season. Blake Biondi's been a guy who in September was at one level. October he went up another level. And now in November he's playing his best hockey. He's just continued to improve. And you see that with now he's tied for the team lead. Ten points. So far this season. Well, there's never been a doubt that 
Blake Biondi could score goals. We know he could score goals and make things happen offensively. It was, it was his play away from the puck and his responsibility in the defensive zone. And that's that's where he needed to learn how to play the game at this level. And you got to get stronger and you got to just go through those growing pains. And he's done that. And now he's getting the opportunities to show, you know, the skill and ability that he has that we've all known. 